So I had a slow day today, and I figured, you know, I'm gonna go to my rental property and uh, fix this whistling I keep having an issue with, with my uh, American Standard tub shower combo. Uh, I tried to change the spout out, and this is a brand new spout, and the one before was a brand new spout, and there was no change. Usually whistling comes from the tub spout. So after I did that, I knew it was a cartridge. The cartridge is in horrible shape. And I'm like, whatever. I wasn't really too comfortable since I really did a American Standard before. But I mean, you know, these hardware stores all have them in stock, you know, no problem. Whatever, so I started digging into it. Took it all out, kind of gouged where the seal went on the plastic i wish i had the piece right here but it looks something like this but it's not the right part i have it in the truck it doesn't matter anyways long story short all the parts i grabbed from menards i bought them i bought every single cartridge they had and none of them fit i think well I th there's two of them it's weird because it's got the this is the balancer and then this goes in front of it and they screw together a bunch of garbage if you ask me they're complicating it so I realized I couldn't get the parts uh, Home Depot you can order it and it's gonna take 15 days this uh, property right now is uh, vacant and I don't have time I don't, I don't have 15 days to wait if they want to show the property if my management company wants to show the property so so I'm just gonna cut this out I'm done dealing with it I'm done I'm just gonna cut it out cut the drywall out and then I'm gonna put a one of these I don't know what you want to call them there you go An access panel put it right here good enough so then if anything happens in the future, you'll be able to see if there's leaking or whatever, or you could change it out in the future. No harm, no fall. And you can even paint it too, so it'll blend in better. Yeah, sorry, I'm just pretty irritated right now. I don't see what's so standard about American Standard when you can't even get their parts. Yeah, whatever. So, I'm just gonna poke a hole with the screwdriver on the top and on the bottom so I know where it is over there, and then I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna try to center it. So I'm on the left side of it, so I'm just gonna, you know, probably uh, go a little bit over, maybe a half inch. It doesn't be perfectly center, because I'll never know on the other side. They'll never know. Try to go. We'll go right here. Looks good. Looks good for my house. I got this huge 14 inch by 14 inch. Trace it out. So since so we got this lip right here, I don't know if you can see I got in the picture. So if we got this lip right here, I might have to cut a little bit on the outside of that, of my mark.
How am I doing? Not that good. Great tool for the job. Sayonara, you piece of crap. And then I like to grab it hard and twist it in the right direction. Kind of sets it. So I'm gonna use this Blue Monster thread sealant. Also, it helps lube it up. Lube it up and it's extra, se extra sealant. Can't hurt, right? I was kind of debating if I wanted to use this or not because it's just going to make a mess since I'm using so many uh, threaded connections. Usually, when I, uh, I think the last one I put in, the last shower valve, I just soldered it all in. So you would just stick it right in there. But since I'm using the uh, Pro Press, I'm not doing that. Going the easy route. Fight myself.
That wasn't the valve cracking, that was my uh, wrist. Come on. And there's an up on this too. Tells you which way is up. Usually the hot and cold is right on top. Not usually, it always is. But if your hot and cold flopped, you just flop it and you're good. Grinder left some pretty gnarly burrs on this. So I like this tool. For the outside. I'm probably doing this with the wrong, but it never feels smooth. Unless I just bought a cheapo. Just a cheap uh oh, I see it's not even a cheap wool. It's a Lennox. I would assume that's a good brand. Your uh, tub spout might be a little bit more wobbler than mine. Mine's all siliconed in, nice.
pair of coupling is a coupling with uh, no stop on it. So I could just slide it all the way through and get this in here. And then there's a stop right here. So I'm gonna try to get away with not using the uh, stops. Well, I'm gonna have to use probably, and I know at least one. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get that. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try. So I got my no stop. I'll slide it up there. So I'm gonna start crimping this stuff before I uh, start losing my spots. I don't wanna do it all at the end. There's too much stuff going on. Okay. And I was like, don't, this is why I mark it, because you don't lose your spot. See how they come out a little bit? And I think I just used the other one to mark it differently. And this is actually shorter. These are a little different, but these are maxed out. I should have used the one that uh that was comparable. You don't have to double crimp it. Sometimes I just double crimp it. I don't know why. This one's pretty tight. I might have to get the other jaws off of this. Yep. I can't get it straight on. So I gotta do is put this little baby on here. Like so. Change this jaw out. Now I'm just going to pinch it.
there you have it. All those fittings are done finally. We turn the water on. We're gonna test for leaks. So I put this together already. Everything works. No more whistling. So, also, I checked. We have no leaks. Everything is crimped. I have a problem putting too much on and I don't want it to ooze out too much. So I'm just gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm probably overdoing it already. I know I'm overdoing it. Weird. My first time using this, as you can tell. You're gonna see a lot of shadows, but I'm okay with that. I don't mind at all. It's got to clean up a little bit, but I think that looks good. Especially when I can access the shower now. That's number one for me. And if anything should happen. <laughs> 